Here is an example of a one minute scalping setup working out. First, on the 15 minutes, we can see that the price is trending above the 50 EMA. The market is constantly making new higher highs and higher lows, which shows that the overall direction in this time frame is bullish. So, we want to zoom into the one minutes chart and look for long entries. But first, where is the best place to look for trading opportunities? We can see that this previous area of market structure has recently acted as resistance. After the breakout, the resistance turns to support, possibly providing us with an opportunity to go long. So we wait for the price to enter our trading zone and look for reversal signals in the one minutes chart. Here, we can see that the market has printed a double bottom. So we wait for the price to break above the neckline to confirm this pattern and open a long trade. Scalping strategies in trading involve making quick, short-term trades on volatile currency pairs using technical indicators and tight risk management. However, it can be challenging as traders need to make decisions rapidly, and small losses can accumulate if not managed effectively. In today's video, we'll show you our techniques for more effective scalping. Furthermore, we're excited to share two of the best price action and smart money scalping setups known for their high win rates. So guys, if that interests you, please hit the like button to show your support and subscribe to our channel if you're new, since we publish many advanced trading concepts. See you after the intro and disclaimer. Starting with the basics. What is scalping exactly? The scalping strategy involves executing short-term trades on the lower time frames during periods of high market liquidity. What are the pros and cons of scalp trading? On the one hand, scalpers may experience higher false signals because they are trading in the lower time frames. The amount of the spread can also be bolder than before because they aim approximately for 10 to 20 pips. That's why traders need a tight risk management plan and trade the major currency pairs with lower spreads. On the other hand, scalpers do not need to spend many hours behind the chart because the result of the trade is usually determined within the same hour. The results of scalping can be summarized at the end of a trading day, factoring in all profits and losses. This style is preferred for traders who seek to spend no more than a couple of hours on the chart. This is a checklist of things that a scalper should follow before starting to analyze the chart and place trades. Now let me explain two of the best price action and smart money scalping strategies with all the rules. Let's start with the price action trading setup. This scalping strategy uses two time frames. The first time frame is 15 minute chart. First, we use this time frame to identify the market direction and determine whether we will be buying or selling. Trading with the controlling side of the market will instantly improve our confidence and success rate. We do this with the aid of the exponential moving average. We apply the EMA on the chart and set the value to 50. In the bullish market, we want to see that the market is trending above the 50 EMA, creating new higher highs and higher lows. On the contrary, if the market is trending below the 50 EMA, we identify this as a bearish market and will only be looking to sell. If the price continuously breaks the 50 EMA to both sides and does not have a clear trending movement, that's when we stay away from the market. Increasing trade quality is also knowing when not to take trades, which is just as important as knowing when to take the trades. So, we need to wait for the trend to become clear in order to look for trading opportunities. Now the second thing we do after identifying the market direction in the 15 minute chart is to mark high probability trading zones. Usually there are three key levels that we mark on the chart as our optimal trading zones. Number one, the most recent market structure. The previous market structure here is the latest resistance, which will likely become the next support and push the price higher. Number two, multiple rejections. An area with multiple rejections shows that the traders took action at this level at different times, which makes it more powerful when the price reaches that zone again. Number three, acted as both support and resistance. If a level of market structure has acted as both support and resistance previously, it increases the probability for the price to reject this level again. 
After marking these optimal trading zones on the chart, we wait for the price to enter these areas and drop down to the one minute chart to look for confirmation and entry. Now in the one minute chart, I'm looking for a very specific chart reversal pattern called double bottom. A double bottom is an M-shaped reversal pattern that signals a possible reversal. It shows the sellers have failed to break below the market structure and create a new lower low. This pattern completes when the price breaks and closes above the neckline. And that's all we need to enter the long position. Our stop loss will be below the double bottom, and we will target the next level of market structure in front of the price. But here comes an important point. Sometimes, if we enter the trade right after the price breaks above the neckline, our stop will be too large. So in this case, we need to wait for some sort of a pullback to enter at a better price. When this scenario happens, we combine the double bottom pattern with the Fibonacci retracement levels. We apply the retracement tool on the chart and place a buy order at the 618 retracement level. Once again, our stop will be below the swing low, and we will target the next market structure level. Keep in mind that we don't know where the end of this move is going to be. So if the price keeps pushing to the upside, we will adjust our retracement tool with the latest move. This will continue until the price retraces and activates our order, or it pushes forward and reaches our target, and then we cancel the whole trade. Now everything we said is applied to the bearish market as well. So let's quickly recap this trading plan in the bearish scenario. First, on the 15 minute chart, we want to see the price trending below the 50 EMA. This shows that our direction is bearish and we can look for short opportunities. Next, we will mark the recent supply area that can potentially reject the price to the downside. We will wait for the price to enter this zone and zoom into the one minute chart to open a short position. And all we need is a double top reversal pattern to show us that the short term uptrend is over and the price can continue to push lower. Now, let's have some real chart examples to show you what goes through our minds when trading opportunities arise. Here on the Euro Dollar 15 minute chart, we can see that the price is trending below the 50 EMA. So we have a moving downtrend, and we are only interested in selling this market. Now, here comes a question. Where should we look for sell trades? We know that this level has acted as strong support recently. So, after this breakout, support turns resistance, possibly providing us with a trading opportunity. So now that we have pointed out our optimal trading zone, let's drop to the one minute time frame to look for confirmation. Here, we can see that the price has made a valid double top, which is our reversal signal to execute a short position. So, after breaking the neckline to the downside, we will open a short position, put the stop above the double top and target two times our risk. Once again, here on the 15 minute chart, we have a moving uptrend. The price is clearly trading above the 50 EMA, which shows that our direction is bullish and we only need to look for buying trades. This key level can potentially reject the price to the upside, so we wait for the price to enter our zone and zoom into one minute for confirmation and entry. In the one minute, once again, a double bottom formation is our entry reason to open a long position. We wait for the price to close above the neckline to confirm the pattern, and then we can enter long trade. Keep in mind that this trade has a 1 to 2 risk to reward ratio before reaching the recent market structure in front of the price. But in the case of a large neckline, we would have a large stop loss as well. So that's when we use retracement levels to enter the market. Now, this is the checklist for this specific price action trading setup. You could use this checklist every time you're about to place a trade with a demo or real account to stay committed to the rules. Now, this price action trading setup is great if you are a beginner or someone who is struggling to make a profit. But always remember, if a profitable trading strategy helps to grow your account, the risk management plan helps you to survive in the market. You can risk 1 to 2% of your capital per trade and only have up to three open trades at the same time. But before using this strategy with real money, you should backtest it on past data to obtain the performance. Now, in the second part of this video, let me show you a more advanced smart money scalping setup. The second trading strategy is an order block entry pattern accompanied by a liquidity sweep, which also uses two timeframes. Like the price action trading strategy, in the first step, we implement the market structure concepts of smart money to the chart to find the market direction on the 15-minute chart.
Once we find the higher time frame direction, we know whether we are going to buy or sell this market. Then we drop to the one minute chart and search for a specific trading setup. Imagine we are in an uptrend and the latest move breaks the market structure to the upside but has no fair value gap. On the other hand, when we look at the left side, we realize the gap precisely below the swing low and a valid order block zone. So in this case, there is a higher chance for the price to break below the swing low. Grab the liquidity and continue pushing up when it taps into the order block demand area. So, when this pattern forms, we will place our buy order a spread size above the order block zone and target the next level in front of the price. Our stop will be below the swing low, and our entry is based on combining order blocks and liquidity sweep below a minor demand area. In the bearish scenario, we have a break of structure to the downside with no fair value gaps. The gap is precisely above the swing high and a valid order block, which is a perfect supply zone to enter a short trade. In this case, this change of character is not valid for us, and we consider it as a liquidity grab movement. Then we expect the market to continue pushing in the same bearish direction when it taps into the supply zone. Here on the pound dollar one minute chart, we have a moving downtrend. The market has recently broken the structure level to the downside, leaving behind a supply level. So many traders will go short if the price returns to this area and lots of liquidity is gathered above this zone. On the other hand, looking at the left side, we can spot this clean fair value gap in a perfect order block zone. The institutions use this opportunity to grab the liquidity they need and push the price lower when it reaches the order block supply zone. So we will set our sell limit a spread size below the order block and place our stop above it. We will make our trade break even by closing half of our position when the price reaches two times our risk and our higher time frame target will be the next level in front of the price. Here on the New Zealand dollar, we have a moving downtrend. We have multiple breaks to the downside with no fair value gaps. But looking at the left side of the structure, we can spot this clean, unmitigated gap above this zone. The candle that created the imbalance is our order block. So if the price breaks above this level, we won't take it as a valid change of character and consider it as a liquidity grab movement. We place our sell limit at the order block and the same rules for positioning stop loss and targets. Now let's see what happens. But remember, trading live involves real money and real emotions. It's a whole different game compared to paper trading or simulations. The key to success is sticking to your trading plan, which acts as your blueprint for success. So guys, I hope this video provided value to you. If it did, please go ahead and smash the like button to show your support. And if you're new here, consider subscribing to our channel. See you in the next episode.